This rock hard beam is made from hard to recycle plastic, like grocery bags, bottles, and even electronics. A company called Conceptos Plasticos takes plastic basically no one else wants and turns it into building materials. The finished bricks interlock like life-size Legos. The company makes it easier for locals to earn money picking waste out of dumps or off the street. The mission? To improve the lives of waste collectors and turn trash into something useful, like this schoolhouse. Plastic is piling up in Ivory Coast, a country like many around the world that has almost no formal recycling programs. Could these building materials be the solution? We went to West Africa to find out how to make schools out of worldwide waste. Fatumata is one of thousands of self-employed waste collectors in Ivory Coast. She gathers plastic from this dump site in Abidjan, the country's biggest city. And she likes what she does. She's part of an informal collective of waste pickers trained by Conceptos Plasticos. They gather many types of plastic including stuff other recyclers won't take. Fatoumata says that since joining the company's training program, she makes about four times as much as she used to. Collectors get paid at a local sorting site after workers there weigh and log each bag. Conceptos Plasticos pays 100 CFA francs, or about 16 cents, per kilogram of plastic. We try to avoid intermediaries and we try all the time to empower directly the people that is collecting the plastic in the street. Then it's time to start sorting. They take out pieces that can't be used for bricks, like PVC, which can release toxic fumes when melted. All the time we are getting material that we cannot transform. Uh, PVC or some PE, some kind of PET. So that's also their work is to sort again and check again which kind of plastic we are getting and take out the, the PVC. After sorting, they load plastic into a crusher. By flattening the waste, about four times as much fits in each truckload to the factory. This facility can process about 40 standard garbage trucks worth of plastic each month. Workers load hard plastics, like these from electronics, on a conveyor belt, which carries them to a crusher. Every time that you work with plastic, you need to have a small size. We have crushers just to take the plastic maybe 5 millimeter size. The crushed chips go into a hopper, then travel down the line to be melted. Soft plastics, like grocery bags, go through different machines. But the process is similar. They're shredded into tiny pieces and melted down later. The final mixes combine different categories of plastic in specific ratios. We have two different kind of mixes, one mix for bricks and the other one for columns, for structural elements. We have small percentage of some additives to help the plastic in the machine and everything. The company keeps those recipes a secret hidden from our cameras behind this curtain, along with the equipment that makes bricks. Behind the wall, we have all the technology and the molds that we develop. That's the way we do the bricks. But they did show us how beams and columns are made by pushing the hot mixture into long molds. Workers lower them into water to cool things down. La moule, pour charger. Donc quand on finit de charger, on plonge dans l'eau. They remove this rod, and the mold pushes out a beam. The team cuts the beam into shorter segments and drills holes at each end. Any leftovers, like the rough end pieces, go through the whole process again. 
This school was made from the recycled building blocks in 2019. And there are more than 300 classrooms made with Conceptos bricks around the country. Oscar Mendez and Isabel Cristina Gomez started the company in 2010. They're based in Colombia, but in 2019, they got a call from UNICEF, asking them to expand their business to another country in need, Ivory Coast. According to the UN, more than a million Ivorian children don't go to school. And sometimes it's because they simply don't have a place to go. Classrooms are too far away or too crowded. Normally they're for 50 children and you can find them up to 80 or so. Teachers, they say that it's impossible to give lessons and to teach in a normal way. Each one of these takes about a month to build. The government, they loved the project from the very beginning, mostly because it was quick. Construction here in Aburi Coast can take up years. The government estimates that Ivory Coast needs about 30,000 more classrooms just like this one to end the shortage. So, is there enough plastic trash to build all those? Technically, yes. The city of Abidjan likely creates enough waste each day to build about 45 classrooms. Collecting, sorting, and transforming all that plastic is the hard part. We need to design a really good sorting process here. Okay, take this out and bring bottles, bring the bottles, but tell, tell, tell the guy, take this out, chop, chop. Oscar says bringing this process into more communities could be the key. We are solving local problems and the solution should be local. We are trying to see how can we go down with the really small scale and go directly to the people who can maybe make their own bricks and their own products. He says the company has transformed more than 3,000 metric tons of Ivory Coast plastic since it got started here. In the long run, solving the plastic problem means making less of it. But for the foreseeable future, the waste has to go somewhere. And ultimately, the work is about a lot more than using up trash. We are doing good things for the environment and for people. We are really happy to see how people is changing their lives. Their faces, their looks, they tell everything. Because for the very first time, they have something and it's their own. Est-ce que vous n'êtes pas content d'être dans cette classe? On est content. On est content, non? Si vous êtes content, on applaudit. Voilà.